Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 21 of the Stimulus Package. Today we're going to be talking about showing reverence for God and being versus becoming. Okay, so when I was younger, I used to listen to all kinds of music. I still do to this day. Um, but it wasn't until I went through a maturation process and became an adult that I realized some of them songs I definitely shouldn't have been listening to. Like, listening to it now as an adult, I'm like, bruh. I was really singing this to the top of my lungs, not even knowing what it meant. Not knowing the context of the content or nothing, just saying. But uh, this made me think of the idea that in life, we do the same exact thing, like in regular life. When we were younger, we were just consuming information and you know, good, bad, just like we were consuming everything. And we were just be being who we knew to be, being who people showed us to be, like taking in all these examples. But once you get older and you just, it can start at a younger age, but in general, when you become an adult or when you're transitioning, you have to switch from the mindset of just being to being in a state of becoming. And the difference between the two is being is being content with where you are and uh, referencing your reality and letting life happen to you. But becoming is basically, you know, embracing change and becoming a active participant in your life, like being intentional. And I think that a lot of us have been in a state of being for a long time, especially being in a pandemic. Like I know a lot of us are just like, I just want to feel great. I want to be comfortable. I want to be happy. So I'm going to do whatever I want to do. But I think that that mindset is going to steer all of us in the wrong direction. So when you're being, you tend to just like make that broad, broad statement that this is how I am and this is how it's going to be. And I don't think that you really understand like the weight of your words and your actions. Like if you claim to be a follower of Christ, whatever you're claiming to be, you have to love it enough to be respectful and love it enough to show yourself respect. So I think that a lot of us have to make that time to sit down and go through a maturation process again and again and again and again so that we can continue to evolve and continue to um, understand the impacts of our actions. I think that we have gotten so comfortable with our with God being so free with forgiveness and uh, love and support and you know grace that we tend to just like stay in a state of being versus you know pushing ourselves into a state of mind of becoming because being is easy like it's, it hurt it hurts you at times but being is easy because you're not being challenged and you're just like I'm just gonna let whatever come come and I'm gonna be good <laughs> But when you step into the state of becoming, that means you embrace change and that you know you're going to have to go through a few uh, difficult seasons. You're going to have some good seasons. You're going to have some bad ones. And then you're going to use all of that information to help you to become the best version of yourself. And I think you are also very intentional about, about your actions and like, and what you say and like how you present yourself to the world because you understand who you represent and that's what i want to challenge everybody to do so that's where reverence for god comes in i had a conversation with my good friend and it definitely challenged me and made me think like wow katrina you haven't been as faithful as you think you have and i think a lot of us have those realizations in those moments where we're just like have I actually done what I said I was going to do? Am I doing these things out of uh, pure enjoyment for myself? Or am I doing it as uh, worship for God? Am I, am I giving God the glory? Am I trying to be the best steward over what I have and a good steward over the relationships that I get to possess? Like, to me, I think we've lost sight of showing reverence for God. And I think that we have become very comfortable with him being so gracious to us. And we haven't put enough respect on his name. The way we approach him, the way that we talk about God, the way that we only talk to God when we need him, um, all of that stuff plays a role in it. And I think if we all flip the switch from being to becoming, 
we will be more prone to um, showing rever deep reverence for God versus just doing the surface level stuff. And I want to challenge y'all this week to just like, in everything that you do, give God deep reverence, show the utmost respect, um, be loving, be trustworthy, be, be grateful, show gratitude, because at the end of the day, without him, we can't be or become. <laughs> so one of the best ways to show reverence for God is by actually changing, like taking in the lessons, understanding what your impact is and what uh, your actions are doing and making necessary changes and becoming more like Christ. So that's one of the greatest ways to do it and to show gratitude and be thankful for everything, for your air, for your strength, for your health, for just everything. We take all these little things for granted and we don't think about the fact that we could have not woke, we could have stayed asleep. Like we could have just not even woke up ever again. We could have um, been injured. We could have lost our sight. We could lose our mobility. Like all of those things, showing reverence for God is literally thanking him for the things he did today, the things he did yesterday, and the things he's going to do in the, in the future. It's just being grateful and respectful through actions. <laughs> like if that makes sense uh, I am a um, work in progress I try my best to do the right things but there are times where I have made mistakes or where I have intentionally done things that I knew better than doing and did it anyway so if we be honest we've all done those things but the turning point the pivot point is literally making the change and making sure that we try to do everything to um, to bring glory to God and, and be respectful. All right, y'all. Until next time, stay focused, keep grinding, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Y'all can follow us at Level 27 Coaching on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, subscribe to our website at www.level27coaching.com. And come see us. And, you know, if you need anything, feel free to contact me on my page, DM me. Uh, all my contact information is on there. And uh, I just pray for y'all. And I pray that y'all really do take this, this message to heart and really think about your actions as it pertains to how we show respect to God. Just think about it and make sure that you're int intentional about everything you do. All right. I love y'all. I appreciate you. Bye. Have a good week.